It all started out as a normal day in the county jail, the math teacher going in to check in so that he could teach some inmates some math so that hopefully they can get their GED in the future. But as you can see, he says, hello sir, I'm the math teacher, and here's his jail ID ready to check in. And of course, the guy's like, you already know, he radios into the other sheriff's deputy that they got a guy in front that they're gonna let them into the jail, and bada bing, bada boom, of course, he has to get through the metal detector and insert all of his items out of his pockets, places his phone there onto the scanner to get scanned. And as you saw right there, it beeped when the sheriff walked through that metal detector, but when the teacher walks through, no beep because he's not carrying any weapons, so he's good to go. And now it's time for him to go on in to the classroom. So the sheriff's gonna basically walk him through because there's not that many visitors that come through this jail anyways. So all he was doing there was just playing on his phone, sitting in his chair there watching the scanners. But he's gonna go ahead and open up this door here and take him straight through the visitation area all the way over to the classroom there he goes opens up another door you can never be too secure the more doors the merrier boom another door this is the little back area where the teacher grabs his textbooks and basically is ready to go so that he can place all the materials into the area where the actual inmates are going to be as you can see the lights are nice and off the, uh, the teacher goes and turns them on and there you go he is now ready to teach some inmates about some math get them on the right path so they have skills after they leave jail and once the teacher is all set up he lets the correction staff know that they can bring in some of the inmates and as you can see the inmates are just you know sitting around the table just having a good time saying that they don't like the school but they still want to go basically because they want to be better in life after they're out but they say all inmates class has started the math enrichment course has begun and there they go into the classroom so that they can go and learn whether you like it or not they know that they need these skills they need teacher liam to teach them the ways of math and they're all sitting down and they are all ready to go time for them to sit quietly and learn from the teacher learn from the wise master and once class has begun the teacher says to write down this equation of course and what's the equation well it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared but in may e says equals what he wasn't paying attention and the teacher says c squared my man you gotta write that down but now the guards are like this is pretty boring it's been about 30 minutes of class time right now it's about halfway through it's an hour total they're like let's go on break we can cover you and basically he'll just stand outside the classroom it's not like he's the only guard there but while they're outside there the teacher's like you know what i forgot to pass back the test scores at the start of class so he's like bam you gotta be 85 percent inmate turtles like oh yeah that's a good score and of course here comes the next one but meanwhile he's giving out his score to inmate union he says he got a c of 71 percent inmate tan is like hey what's my score he's like sit down my man you're gonna get your score be patient be patient for your score inmate tan but of course inmate e he's up next in the lineup of getting his score and he got a d 65 percent he's like well it's better than nothing but inmate tan he's laughing at him he's like a d man that's all you got he thinks it's absolutely hilarious but then the teacher's like i don't know why you're laughing because you got a f 51 percent buddy and the guy's like huh are you serious and now inmate e he's laughing at him back now he's like you were laughing at me why don't i come laugh back at you my man see how much you like it how you were laughing at me how the turn tables the tables have turned and everybody else is laughing at him too because he was making all sorts of noise all sorts of commotion talking about everybody else's scores and then he ends up with the least score he ends up with the lowest score out of all of them after laughing at literally everybody and while tan can dish it out he can't seem to take being the butt of the joke he starts getting angry he starts getting mad but Big E is getting happy he's like haha you're getting mad he's happy that he's not the butt of the joke and now he's like, hey man, calm down. But then Union jumps in the middle and says, fight it out, fight it out. Oh, Tan's trying to slap him. And Big E is like, you want some of these Mexican fists? He's a big man. He is ready for all the smoke. He's not backing down from any fight in jail here. And then there's Union standing in the middle. And there he goes. He is blinded by rage. Tan is ready to fight. He says, you're going to get knocked out. And Big E is like, bring it on. Bring it on, my man. Bring it on. They're about to have a fight in the classroom. Both Big E and Tan are ready for war. He looks like Big E broke the leg off a chair and is about to use it as a metal rod. Oh, and so goes Tan. Tan breaks the leg off another chair. And there's Liam in the corner saying, send help. 
He needs that assistance while these people are about to have a fight in his class. Not about to. They are fighting and Liam is out here pressing his panic button. And as soon as the distress call is made, the two sheriff's deputies from the front desk jump out of their chair to go help the teacher in the classroom. There goes the other deputy over there putting on his gloves. He is rearing and ready to go. He's ready to manhandle some inmate. He's been training his whole life for this. He runs through the room and there's the fight happening right there. They're swinging at each other. They got guards already in there. They got tasers in there. They are ready to take him down. Oh, when they're swinging, they're beating each other with the taser. They got batons. They got tasers. Oh, the inmates are focusing on themselves mainly for the most part, but the guards are trying to take them down without getting hit by one of those metal pipes, basically. Oh, and there goes two double taser. Back to back tasers, both inmates incapacitated. And now they're bringing them into handcuffs and taking them out. And there's the teacher right there. They got the medical already on standby, ready to go. And they're going to take them over to the infirmary so they can get checked out by the medic. Because, man, those metal, they may not do a lot of, lot of damage because they're not super solid metal. You know, they're that little flimsy aluminum from the chairs. But they still are pieces of a metal technically. So they can still do some decent damage. There's probably a couple bruises, a couple bumps. But they fought it out. Bravery. They didn't try to fight the guards. You know, they were focusing on each other because of what? All because somebody laughed. That's all it takes in jail is somebody to laugh at you to come get this smoke you can catch all the smoke just from laughing at another inmate but there go the two sheriff's deputies they transferred the cuffs over to them now and meanwhile the sheriff's deputies are going to be watching over the cells while the medical professionals start basically treating the inmates and making sure that they are good to go so they can get back to their cells and as soon as the panic button was pressed the director got a notification on his computer. In addition, he was already having a briefing and a meeting with the security chief about jail security, so on and so forth. And basically, the chief is like, there is a fight during a class. So now the director has to go down and get statements from everybody and is trying to basically talk it out to figure out what happened so that they can submit a report about the fight that happens. And it's inside the classroom, sir. And now they're going to go have him go downstairs and actually go talk to the teacher talk to mathematician Liam as you can see there's two protection division correction staff outside of his door ready to go at all times and here they go they're forming doing a formation so that this director is protected at all times because there's nothing the prisoners would love more than to just start beating on this director as soon as he has no security or tries to go in there with no security so now he has two Security, or is it protective? Yeah, protective division, not security division. Security different. Security division is different. Protective division is for the assistant director and director to make sure you know they don't get jumped by inmates. But here you go. He's going on into the classroom here, so we can talk to Liam. This is it. Look at that. Literally right down the stairs from his office. It's not that far away. This isn't a very big jail. So you might have even heard some of the commotion through the floors. And he's basically gonna go now and talk to the teacher, talk to Liam, and say what happened. How did it happen? So on and so forth. But the more in-depth investigation is going to happen by the assistant directors and other employees.